Hello, this video is a collection of a few random tips and tricks I've come across that make multi-charts easier to use and more beneficial for your trading. As a trader in a fast-paced environment, I feel it's vital to have yourself thoroughly organized, you know, know where everything is and what its functions are and how to use the software to react to literally any and every situation that could arise in your trading. So the first tip I have for everyone is a few ways to adjust the windows displayed on your monitor to maximize what can be viewed at one time and hence making the most out of your display's real estate. It's up to you to find whether you like, for example, six different charts up at one time or one large chart up scrolling between six products, or for example, if you like to have up a dominant dome window acting as a control center for placing all your orders, or if you simply like just to trade off the chart pad. With that being said, whatever windows you choose to display on your screen can be adjusted to maximize the leftover screen real estate that's still available for use. The first thing I suggest doing is thinning out the main framework of multi-charts by removing any unnecessarily unnecessary toolbars and arranging what's left in a compact, organized way. You can even pull a toolbar out into its own window by using the grabber line at the beginning of every toolbar. This allows you to really shrink the main framework of the platform and work with just the individual toolbar. A chart window can be modified for organization in a number of ways. What I like to do is detach a chart into its own window as well. From there you can opt to not show the title bar or scroll bar and that'll save you a little more space. You can do that in the format window menu as shown. And then really getting detailed you can even reduce the size of the elements within the chart such as text or choose to only display one price axis. As explained in another video of mine, you can actually pin down many of the individual windows you can bring up. This, this can ensure important price action is not missed when another window accidentally covers up the chart, for example. You can also have the charts auto-arranged as opposed to choosing to manually adjust the dimensions of each chart window. First, the chart windows have to be reattached into the main framework of multi-charts. Then what you do is in the main menu select window and choose arrange all or something similar in the menu that automatically will adjust all of your open windows into an organized manner. Also you can make adjustments on the dome window where you can reduce the text size or collapse the pre-made order strategy icons or manually adjust the dimensions. Other windows you may have, have up during your trading that can be cropped, reduced, and adjusted are the market scanner window and the orders and positions tracker window. I would first run through each tab on these windows and remove any columns you don't really need add any you do and arrange them in an order to what works best for you. Also adjusting the theme, the color theme, and the text size allows for customization. Similar to the chart window, these three I just mentioned will also allow you to pin down the window or what they call is stick the window by using the icon in the upper right. Another way to save space and organize yourself is to create multiple workspaces and toggle through each when needed rather than having to battle with a ton of windows. However, for performance purposes, it is important to note that you should probably load some of the workspaces from file and close out some of the other workspaces when possible to avoid platform performance issues. Also, depending on the capabilities of your computer, I'd avoid running any unnecessary or memory intensive applications while running multi-charts to ensure that the platform continues to operate smoothly. 
Another tip or trick I can suggest is to definitely utilize the export data function and the copy window slash save image function under the file menu. This allows you to import the data to Excel for things like record keeping on trades or even deeper manual analysis, etc. And being able to save your chart images is definitely useful for being able to save a snapshot of price action up to a certain point or even for sharing technical analysis ideas in a social media site such as Chartly, chart.ly. And the last one I have for today, I suggest using the software's hotkeys, or as they refer to them as keyboard shortcuts. These can be configured by clicking on File in the main menu, then down to Keyboard Shortcuts. I found it to be beneficial to customize these shortcuts and get familiar with them in case you have to act fast in some scenario. I want to keep this video short, so I will be ending it here, but I have plenty of other tips, tricks, and suggestions for using the Multicharts platform that I plan on sharing in another video of mine, so check back shortly. Thanks for watching.